All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to install the 640 extension. The same goes for anybody that wishes to update their extension. It's the exact same process. If you just subscribe, you should automatically be prompted into this page. If you're not, you might be in this one, but it's okay, just click view download instructions. The same goes for anybody wishing to update, just log into 640studio.io click my account and then also click view down instructions you're going to need to install the zxp installer so download zxp once you're in there choose your os mac or windows download that and then run that installer second thing is download extension this extension is 1.3 megabytes so it used to be 20 but now it's 1.3 because it's feeding through our service perfectly normal what you're going to do now is just click zxp installer Go over here to Premiere. Make sure to have your Premiere closed. Make sure that you are updated to the latest version. And then now you can go ahead and drag this in this file. We're gonna drag it in here. You're about to install, install, installed successfully, close. So you see now that your extension is installed, make sure it's version 2.0. This is the latest version that we have out right now. We're gonna click out of that. We're gonna minimize that and then just open Premiere. In this case, we're going to start a fresh project. For this video, I'm just going to drag in a few clips from here. So now you're in Premiere. How do you access the extension? So simply just go right here to Window, Extension, 640 Extension, and now you have the extension window pop up. Now, I already had it before, but yours may look something like this floating around. To put it in your Premiere, just click right here on 640 Studio Extension, and then you can drag it to any window you like. I like to put it right here, so I'll put it right there. And then when you first start it up, it's gonna look something like this. For Mac users, it's gonna ask you a couple questions. They're gonna look something like this. I'm gonna throw it on the screen. Make sure to allow all the automation and accessibilities for Premiere, because if you don't, then the extension won't work. And it may not pop out, like in front of your screen, you might have to move Premiere around or minimize it to to catch it for a pc you're straight you don't have to do anything else you can just do that so you'll notice now that you have a remember me feature so once you sign in you put in your email password you log in you'd never have to sign in ever again you can close premiere you can close this you can do whatever it, it won't sign you out so that's kind of the new thing that we put in here that makes the extension so much better and so much faster and easier to use on top of that all these effects feed through our servers so we can just update from the back end and then feed you guys with uh, new presets pretty often and that's pretty much how you install the extension it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward if you have any other questions if something's messing up on your computer something's not working please email us we can jump on a discord call and we can figure this out together it's important to install the extension with premiere closed so thanks for watching hope you enjoy